In today's White Dwarf review, we're going to take a look at issue 127 and all the new what else? I mean, Sylvanas. I mean, Age of Sigmar. I mean, I don't know. Spiky bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. Rob Bear here with the White Dwarf 127 review, of course. Uh, man, this is so exciting. If you're an Age of Sigmar player, even if you're not, I know a lot of folks out there are like, oh my god, these models are so amazing. I want to play Age of Sigmar. And it's true. These, man, we didn't, we never seen anything like this from Games Workshop. I mean, this is pretty incredible kind of stuff. And it can, they continue to exemplify what sets them apart from you know their competitors i mean look at this kit like where else are you going to see something like this okay yeah there's some cool ass gundams out there i got you i'll, I'll give you that gundams are a different level uh, i feel like and you know there's some dope ass resin stuff out there from some uh, other manufacturers you know but nothing to this this grandiose scale right here i feel like you know like you just you just can't really compete with this i mean this is incredible looking and i can't just get that uh get that song out of my head that black betty song because they uh that super bowl ad where it was like that black beetle running along and then it was a volkswagen ad but i don't know every time i see it it just like runs through my head so thanks volkswagen you're the worst anyways <laughs> um so ariel's coming in all of her wood elf tree can or sylvanas whichever whichever you prefer but man this is just incredible looking stuff and you got dracca back or drakia um she's pretty dope looking kind of little uh, dread knight kind of looking thing i'm i'm digging it so just a tons of previews in here like some background on it what's going on in the, you know the realm of life you know the whole basically the the big cliffhanger they left there and now we're starting to get to more and more stuff of what's going on and that they're gonna have the all gates war or you know so basically they're gonna wrap this stuff up and go into the whole new campaign for, for well i i don't think they're wood elf players but uh maybe they're maybe they're fighting over the, the all gates uh cat uh cat bed in there or something i don't even know i swear i just need to put them in the other room but then they just scratch on the door the whole time and well that's why we can't have nice things anyways so moving on we got ariel she's pretty dope i really like the beetle mount i mean she doesn't have her her cool ass like butterfly wings from back in the day but she has some pretty dope wings none, nonetheless right there i mean let's face it butterfly wings eh, i don't know i don't know if it has a place in in, in fantasy or in uh, age of sigmar but I, I think they did a good job with that right there and then they got the the beetle with all sorts of it doesn't have skulls all over it but it's got them got them shrooms and some moss and some little uh little foily frilly thingies right there so she's looking good she's coming in at 130 dollars the branch uh, branch rice they're pretty cool looking um i'm not really sure oh that's a single that's a single character there and then we got drakia or dracha however you pronounce her correctly she's got the new she's the new model in the current off hunters which kind of look like orion in my opinion like i would love to see a new orion miniature at some point uh from them maybe that'll be some sort of like story arc in the in the future because they definitely kind of looking they're looking like a cross between orion i guess and maybe um maybe a little bit like the uh the big the big tree elf guys but man they're just styled really cool and i like them they're the little elite kind of level troops there and they're clocking in at uh, 60 dollars, i believe and it looks like you can make them with swords a couple different varieties of, of weapons as well and then the tree revenants which really remind me of the dark eldar the little um the shadow dudes that uh that come out the oh man i forgot what they're called I don't want to say the Reavers because those are the Jack Bites, but you know what I'm saying. Those guys look dope, but they're kind of bad in game. But these guys look really cool. I like their styling. I like their little, their long frizzy hair, but they're like part elf, but like part tree or like some sort of tree construct kind of thing. They really nailed uh, that model for me, I feel like. And then, of course, the, the Sprite Revenants, which I don't know. I'm not really digging them. I mean, they're kind of they're kind of cool looking but like i don't know there's just something off they just don't kind of just don't fit for me i feel like but they're still great looking models in general i'm just um personally feeling them but man i i think they're really dope 
And then we get into the battle tome. We all know what battle tomes are. They have all the rules and everything. Big, uh, big preview of all that. The new Dreadhold Crucible, which kind of came out of nowhere. It looks like it's uh, some sort of fortification, a la the whole like Cauldron of Corn from back in the day. That little epic model or Space Marine, depending on which era you played it, was a little basically this thing on treads on a Bane Blade. They kind of just drove around and like uh, spit hot fire on things. Well, they basically brought it back for this, but put it on an emplacement. So I'm wondering what the size is. Maybe you could throw it on a Bane Blade. That would be that would be pretty neat to see and then uh well this is i think this is the realm gate war the all of the all gates saga here so they're wrapping up all the realm gate wars and then moving on advancing the storyline into the new campaign stuff oh and then there's the sylvanas dice which look pretty dope because they're actually like wooden so like i imagine if they're wooden they would roll pretty good because you're not going to have those like random resin air bubble pockets inside of them or something but i don't know i could be wrong uh there but they seem pretty neat like just in general except for the the symbol is once again not on not on the six, so I don't know how I feel about that. I'm torn. They look so cool and the idea is so deep, but I want to see a six, or I want to see the symbol for the six. Gosh, you guys, come on. Uh, paint splatter has returned for the first time in two weeks. Of course, to help you paint the new wood elves, and there's some dope ass paint schemes here. Some color combinations we haven't seen before, especially with the orcs, because this is more of like a like a pastel kind of uh, kind of muted kind of thing that we hadn't seen in the past. So that's really cool to see to help uh, folks kind of um, you know paint up their new models. And I'm sure we're gonna see these throughout the next couple of weeks because this is only one version here uh, for the tree revenants, right? And then it gets into more and more stuff, but that's pretty much it that uh, for content as, you know, as, as much as we want to see, you know, as far as uh, new models and also, I guess, um, the, the previews and of all the new books and everything like that. So it's kind of a short white dwarf in that regard. It's more more ads and stuff as we're slowly counting down. Uh, getting into uh finally hitting the the white dwarf as it returns to monthly here in september it looks like so they're still they're still doing their due diligence here they're still working on stuff and uh well here's a little thing right here the ultimate uh, white dwarf you know changes coming and coming in september so they have a little preview right here without too much but supposedly it's going to be you know 166 bucks or, or excuse me 166 pages and if you reserve your one year subscription now you get it for six dollars and 66 cents at least in the US here so that'll be really neat to see so I think another good quality issue um, in that regard but uh, you know as we count down to the the whole dropping of the age of Sigmar oh and the teaser right here well this is really interesting right because we've seen in the past like month for instance right there's been all these teasers and people are like you read it and then you're just like oh okay that doesn't mean anything that's innocuous it'll just be like a feature that's in the next white dwarf well there was a bunch of them like create expectations and pointy ears and look to the skies and all that stuff and the next week you know we start seeing the new white dwarf and those are actually new models coming out you know the armored containers then we had the new flyer the storm cloud attack box set so now we know there's a summer campaign coming for Age of Sigmar, right? Well, what does this mean? Heresy and Betrayal. You know, we had heard some rumors from some folks that there wouldn't be a sequel to Betrayal of Chaos. It would just be something based roughly around the same time, some sort of expansion, but not necessarily what was on par with what they released back in November. But Heresy, Betrayal, I don't know. Do we ignore this one? Or does this like actually mean something? And we're gonna see a dual launch of a summer campaign for Age of Sigmar and maybe also something for 40k along the lines of Horus Heresy or perhaps that Betrayal of Kalth um, expansion that we don't, that we've vaguely heard of, but it's not supposedly like what came out in November. So it's hard to say either way there, but I can tell you what, we've ignored some of the, <laughs> some of those teasers over the last couple of weeks and we came back to actually be a real thing. So, you know, be, vil be vigilant or be diligent uh, or be vigilant. <laughs> be vigilant gosh the worst and keep an eye out there because you never know what might come next week on the heels of a new summer campaign or it could just be a feature in a new white dwarf because uh i don't know but i would love to see some new horse heresy or perhaps a box set i would love to get some plastic uh assault miniatures um or even you know a plastic rhino which i seriously doubt is coming because Games Workshop, you know, Forge World's uh, always selling those chassis, and those chassis are used to make other, um, you know, other variants. So it'd be very unlikely, I feel like, that they would do something like that, because then we'd have to fundamentally go back and change all of their tanks, or just take the upgrade parts and put them, which they're already upgrade parts, actually. So that's really interesting. Hmm. 
I don't know anymore. <laughs> so there's potential there, but I don't actually expect them to do it. But I would like to see some new troops, some assault squads or something like that. But I'm not exactly sure. Um, maybe some breachers, plastic breachers would be dope. But, you know, again, there, um, there's not, that might not be enough to make a whole box set out of or something like that. So we're hearing a lot of things out there, you know, keep, keep your eyes peeled to uh, the Spiky Bits uh, news network over there. And, you know, as soon as we hear something, we'll definitely pop, pop it up, post it up, let everybody know, because it's going to be an exciting time for both game systems, hopefully, coming out here soon in July. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.